Do you play pranks on your mom? Um, ever? I, don't, I do a little bit. Um, my mother, now that I have money, she likes to try to get that from me. Uh, <laughs> so, so at the moment, the moment she wants a chair really badly. I bought my father a Mercedes, and uh, my mother got really jealous. And my mother is a morbidly obese person who just sits in a lazy boy recliner and watches TV. Uh -huh. And she goes, you got your father a $70,000 car, but you didn't get me anything. And I go, well, what can you get in the space that you're sitting in? Yeah. I can buy you a new TV or whatever. And so the next time I went back, now she has all these chair catalogues everywhere around the house. <laughs> She, she wants, wants a chair. These, she I'll wants like a lazy boy one that will actually lift her up to her feet like this. Like, yeah. like you're really giving up on life when you need a chair to help you stand. Yeah. Anyway, so, so she starts laying all these catalogues around and then I just went, oh, that's a nice chair. Nice chair. And I just ignored it. And then uh, she... Oh, she was, wants is a chair. I know, I bought her the f***ing chair. It's coming, it's coming. <laughs> but I, I have to make her sweat a little bit, right? So, so she rings me up going, I need to borrow $4,000 to buy this chair. And then I went, oh, all right, Mum, I'll see what I can do. And then I got my brother to write up a contract that was a very reasonable rate, right? She goes, I can afford $150 a month. And I said, look, I don't think you're going to live that long. I have to bump it oh, up to one Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> there was another time she's, she's, got, she's mad about chocolate, right? She likes chocolate. My mother's a big woman, loves chocolate, right? And uh, when I was living in Britain, she decided that the Cadbury's chocolate in Britain was far superior than that of the Australian Cadbury's. Now, there's one ingredient that's different. There's just an emulsifier that stops it melting so quick in Australia, right? So I was coming back from Britain. I hadn't seen my mother in about five years, and all she wanted was two big blocks of Cadbury's chocolate. So I bought them, and then on the way home, I had to stop off in Hong Kong. Now, in Hong Kong, they sell Australian Cadbury's, so I bought a couple of blocks of that as well, right? Right. Then as soon as I get in the car, she's like, did you bring the chocolate? And so I gave them to her. I gave her the Australian she, ones. She, but she, she starts unwrapping it. She just turned it into like... Sean Connery. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she starts unwrapping the chocolate like she's a gossip gloop looking for a ticket, right? <laughs> and she starts eating it just, oh, oh, this is the best chocolate I've ever had. My God, this is good chocolate. And when it's the Australian one, you dozy woman. And then... She... You had switched it out. I'd switched it out. And now, years later, I, I got a girl pregnant that I've been dating for a couple of months, and I was going to bring her back to... Your stories always have such a pleasant start to them. Yeah, we're, we're still good. We co-parent. Anyway, so we were going back. We were going back to Australia for the first time in years, and I was going to introduce her to my girlfriend who was pregnant, so I had a lot of information to pass on. And my mother had decided that C's chocolates... You know C's? Sure. They're like a crappy American chocolate. Like, American... <laughs> American chocolate's not good. It's, like, one up from carob. Anyway, so... Man, you know you're really... Remember that weird uncle, that weird uncle who always yes. had carob? Like, yeah, it's the like same. it was a health food. Yeah, yeah. Get out of here with your carob. <laughs> anyway, so, <laughs> so... So, so, she wanted these seized chocolates. She only likes strawberry creams, and so... Like, my mother only likes gifts if someone else has to struggle and be in misery to give them to her. Like, she could just buy them and they'd be delivered. She needs you to carry it for the thrill. You she know wants I mean? it in your luggage, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, she's like a sexual abuser who needs the other person to be in pain for them to feel good, right? Anyway, so... <laughs> Not a good analogy? No! That wasn't a good... That wasn't a good... This anyway. is your mother, for God's sake! <laughs> anyway... <laughs> anyway, so she rings up my girlfriend, who she'd never met at the time, she'd never even met her, and she goes, oh, I have something for you to do. Don't tell Jim, but I have two boxes of seized chocolates arriving at the house. If you could smuggle them in your bag and get them to me, that would be great. So she's trying to use my girlfriend as a chocolate mule. Yeah. <laughs> and so my girlfriend comes down and she's like, she's like, I have to ask you something. It's terribly difficult. And I'm like, oh, man, I'm in trouble. She's heard, she, she's gone through my phone or something. There's, there's a big problem here. And I was like, OK, I'm ready to listen to this. And then she goes, your mother called me about chocolates. So I went, all right, fine. So what I did was I got the chocolates and ate them all over Skype in front of her. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me. <laughs> Please tell me a story where you end up getting your mom some chocolate. Okay, first of all, my mother's an insulin-dependent diabetic. I should actually bring that into the conversation. Yes! She shouldn't be having chocolates. But she says, what if my sugar levels get too low and I need to level them up? I need chocolates to save my life. <laughs> and I'm like, go in the kitchen and get some spoonfuls of f***ing sugar. You'll be fine. <laughs> she thinks that she needs chocolates for medical reasons. So anyway, so last time I was going, 
She asked me to get like like four boxes of chocolates, and I said, I'm not bringing them. It's not happening. We've had the chocolate fight over. So I ring my brother up, and my brother goes, she didn't. She asked for more chocolates. So we rang up the people at C's, and between me and my brother, we spent $5,000 to get a big crate of chocolate delivered to my mother, because that's a funny thing to do to a diabetic, because she'll never... <laughs> She'll never finish the chocolate. She'll have to throw it away. It's hilarious, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. You know, I wasn't sure until you explained yeah. it to me. So me and my brother were like, this is the funniest thing we've ever done. We're dropping five grand. We're literally getting 5,000 chocolates delivered on a pallet to a diabetic. We're the best. Anyway, so, <laughs> so we're doing this. We got all the chocolates all stacked up. All the chocolates, and then the C's ring us back and they go, uh, we can't do the order. And we're like, why not? And they go, this is too weird. No one's ever ordered 5,000 strawberry creams to Australia. No one's ever off ordered more than two boxes to Australia. Mm -hmm. We won't do it, right? Because they just thought it was a they prank. They wouldn't do it. And then they said, that, they rang me up and they go, they go, what we'll do is we can deliver nine boxes. And I said, don't do that. She'll enjoy that. <laughs> right? It's got to be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all this is a, is a great reminder that Sunday's Mother's Day. It is Mother's Day. <laughs> Not in Australia. <laughs> yeah, is there a, No, is, there, there, is, there is Mother's Day, but it's in, like, some other month. I don't know when it is, but I don't, I don't have to... I don't know when I, it is. I don't know when it is, but I don't have to remember it because it's a different date in Australia, so yeah. I just forget all the time. Or you see some Facebook post, you know, I'll send her some flowers. Never, yeah. never chocolates. Yeah. Uh... <laughs>